What's up guys, Great Disciple back with another video. I'm not really gonna talk about the game, okay? Let, let, let's just, let's set that to the side. I got a little bit of a rant, okay? And, and I want some input here. You know, we're all men. Well, for the most part, I would say probably 95, 98% of the people who watch my channel is guys, okay? And, um, you know, I, I've talked about where, where I got my name from on Xbox, you know, Great Disciple, because at the time, I, I discipled men one-on-one. -on -one. And, and discipling is, uh, in the Christian standpoint, is walking a, another man into how to have a relationship with God. You know, you, you teach them how to read your Bible, how to understand it, how to pray, you know, serve, fellowship, you know, things like that. You, you, you're teaching them a path, right? And when you do that, what happens is, is you create a very deep relationship and where you both share your thoughts and feelings, you know, thoughts and feelings that you normally would only share with like your wife, for example. You talk about your past and your present, your future, how you feel about things in the economy with your kids, you know, issues that are going on in your life personally. And the great thing about it, and this is one of the things that if I can encourage all of you, is to form these really close relationships. Because what they do is they show you that there's nothing wrong with you, that you're normal, that the issues that you struggle with, other men struggle with. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Meaning that those close friendships, that's what builds you. That's what develops your character and your integrity. You, you have a guy who holds you accountable, a guy that you can unload on, a guy when you have a, an argument with your wife and you want to make sure that you're not thinking abnormally about a situation, you can bounce it off of him, okay? So l let me tell you what happened Memorial Day weekend, okay? I'll, I'll give you a little day in the life or a day in the weekend of gray, okay? So my wife and I had been preparing for a garage sale and Friday was the prep day. Now, usually when we do a garage sale, I'm in charge of doing the Craigslist stuff and, you know, answering people and placing ads. And, and then, of course, as the guy, you move a lot of furniture and, you know, you put up the tables and, and that kind of stuff, right? So we worked on that till 11, 12 o'clock at night, cleaning out kids' closets. And, of course, you know, just trying to keep track of the kids while we're doing it is crazy enough. And then, so Saturday rolls around, and of course, you know, Friday night, I gotta play games, right? So I'm up till two o'clock in the morning playing video games. <laughs> and then I'm back up in the morning at 6.30. Why? Well, because the garage sale is gonna start at 7.30, and I've gotta put the signs out. And I don't know if you guys have ever done a garage sale, but I always feel so embarrassed when I have to walk out on those busy streets and put a sign out saying garage sale this way. Like everybody's staring at me. I don't know. That's just me. So garage sale happens. It goes from like 730 to 12. We have people coming to our house like crazy asking us questions. I'm having to move things and oh man, and it's hot. And it's just like, oh, I just want it over with. But, you know, you got to do it because you got to get rid of this junk. And, you know, the the money that you make from it, you use to buy more crap, you know, more toys for the kids, sell the old stuff, get the new stuff. You got to get new clothes for the summer and that kind of thing. So we do it every year, twice a year. So the garage sale is over. And, of course, you are just spent. You know, the weather and you're exhausted. And then we get a call from one of my wife's friends. My wife grew up in a really small town outside of Waco, Texas. And, uh... It turns out that the girls high school softball team was in a tournament and if they won this tournament they were going to go to state in Austin and the tournament just so happened to be taking place in Prosper, Texas. And so obviously since it was relatively close to us, we're going to go. All right? And a bunch of her friends, her girlfriends that she grew up with were going to be there. And so here it is. I thought we were going to get to relax. Oh no. We got to pack up our kids and we got to head out and oh by the way now my daughter's gonna have a friend stay the night so we pick her up along the way and you know as a guy when you're around a bunch of women and you don't have any other guys to talk to the conversations can be absolutely draining and y'all know what I'm talking about okay because girls just jibber jabber on da -da 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 social butterflies man I am not like that and so they they lose the first game and that means they're gonna have to play another one and uh, I, I just look at my wife, I'm like, listen, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And she's like, well, why don't you take our son and you can take my friend's son as well. Y'all can go back to the house and hang out until this next game's over. So I was like, oh, great. Now I get to babysit. <laughs> so back to the house we go and we're hanging out. And then finally my wife gets there and, you know, the boy leaves. And now we got my daughter with her friend staying the night and I'm exhausted. 
Sunday morning, we go to church. Of course, we go to the early service. And then after that, we have a Bible study, you know, and then you got to put on your facade there because, you know, you're talking with a bunch of people. And it's not fake, but it does require energy. And we had planned on having a family over that afternoon, Sunday afternoon. They got three kids. And so we hosted a family from like four to eight. At this point, you guys, my tank is on E. Okay, guys. You know, each and every day, we are given a set amount of words to use. I was at capacity. I didn't have anything left. I mean, this this couple leaves and my wife asked me a question and I just look at her and say, I'm done. You know, it wasn't rude or anything, but she, she knew what I meant. Like, you know, I, I can't do any more than this. I got to relax my face <laughs> from smiling and I just got to not talk. You got you to gotta just leave me alone for a little bit. And I, I play a little bit of games that night, just a little bit. And I'm just, I'm spent. And so then Monday rolls around. Now we're at Memorial Day. We have a nice breakfast in the morning as a family. And my wife's like, why don't we go shopping today? You know, we made a lot of money from the garage sale. I need to go get some clothes, take advantage of these Memorial Day sales. And I just looked at her, I was like, uh-uh, no, 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 I'm done. I, I can't, I can't do that. So she takes the kids and they go shopping and I, I hang out at the house. I edit out some YouTube videos. She gets back. She's like, hey, why don't we all go to the neighborhood pool? There's a couple families there. And I was like, really? What families? And she told me and I was like, oh, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, listen. I did the garage sale. I was hung out around your friends. We did the Bible study. We hosted that family. There is absolutely no way I'm going to that pool and I'm gonna deal with that guy, <laughs> okay? And they're crazy kids. I am spent. Of course, she didn't really like that, but she went anyways and then came back. I had made dinner and you know we did the dinner thing. Of course, my wife is upset with me because she is like, I don't understand why you were so antisocial. And I'm like, antisocial? I was like, do I need to remind you about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? I need a break. I was at my breaking point, and that is my point. That's what I propose to you gentlemen. Do you guys get to your breaking point? You know, girls, women, they can just go, 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 go. That's how they're built. That's how they're designed. It's one of the great things about being married is that your wife will draw you into things that normally a man wouldn't go into because men want to isolate i've spoken about that before you know it's our natural inclination to isolate we want to be the kingdom of our own domain we don't want to submit to anybody we don't want to have to go into somebody else's kingdom we want to hang out in ours in our man cave and that's what we want to do so being married is a great thing because your wife pulls you out of your cave but there is a point at which i need to go back into my cave and rebuild my energy am i correct can i get an amen brother <laughs> all right Tell me what your thoughts are on this, because I know I'm not the only one, okay? You guys, you, you got to share here. And I know you youngsters, you're probably like, what is he talking about? You know, when I was a teenager, I had all this energy. I was a social butterfly. You know, you're, you're trying to be around girls as often as you can because you want to hook up and you want to date and you want to have a good time and you're going to parties and you're constantly doing things. But once you get older, you get through college and you find the love of your life and you start focusing on career and family and kids, you start to change where you, you are given this certain ability each and every day or a certain number of words and once they're spent you are completely done as a guy because you are balancing so many things in your head at all times you know paying bills and making sure everything's working around the house and making sure your kids are taken care of and focusing on your relationship with your wife and all these kind of things and it just gets so overwhelming that the idea of expending all this unnecessary energy on all these social events just becomes mute okay but uh all right put it down below tell me what you're thinking about this all right <laughs> as always thumbs up the video leave a comment i'll see you in the next one bye